Hey, what's up? In today's video, I'm gonna go over how to get your first 100 subscribers in just one week. I'm gonna give you five tips to help you grow your channel quickly and to improve your views on your videos. And we're starting with tip number one. One of the easiest ways to grow your YouTube channel is to join Facebook groups that are related to your niche or just general YouTube groups. But you have to be careful because there are a lot of groups out there that are sub for sub and those I do not recommend and that is not a good way to start your channel. But you wanna find a group that has other creators and other supporters and they will give you different insights and different tips on growing your channel. And you can also collaborate with other creators. So Facebook groups are still a really, really good way to expose your channel and get those views and those subs. Tip number two is going to be create eye-catching thumbnails. Now this is going to be a whole video on itself, but I'm going to give you guys some quick tips on how to create eye-catching thumbnails. You got to remember that when people, you know, search for your 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 title of your video or something related in your niche or how most people are going to discover your channel is going to be on the for you page or the discover page or the suggested page on YouTube. There's a lot of different competition there and you're you got to make sure that your thumbnail catches their attention. You got to make sure it's got good colors, it's clear. If you have text on it, make sure that the text is clear and knows what the video is about. That is going to be the best way for you to succeed on YouTube. If you just have some random picture of something or like a blank wall or something like that, it, it's just not gonna catch on. You gotta make sure that it's, it's eye catching. The third tip is if, if you start getting comments on your videos, you wanna engage with that community. Even if it's negative comments, you just wanna make sure that you engage because that's another way that YouTube understands that, hey, this video is keeping people engaged and is getting a lot of traction. They're gonna promote that video more. So if you have all these, if you have these first three tips all together, you got Facebook groups, you're getting exposed. You have a good thumbnail. People are clicking on your video, watching it. People are putting comments. You're responding to the comments because for every comment, there's gonna be two comments. You see what I'm saying? So YouTube's like, hey, this video is getting a lot of traction. Let's show it to other people. And then, you know, it becomes a big snowball, the snowball effect. So make sure you are engaging with your community. Also listen. Listen to your community because they're going to tell you what they want, what they don't want, and other things like that. So you got to make sure you pay attention to your community. The fourth tip is going to be to collaborate with other creators. Now this kind of follows along with the Facebook groups tip. In those groups, you, like I said, you're going to find other creators and this will be a good opportunity once you're in that group, you're communicating with people, you know, you're, you're liking posts, you're commenting on posts. Once you start doing all that, you're gonna discover other creators. And nothing hurts, it, there's no harm in asking another creator, hey, you wanna do a, a collaboration on a video? Tip number five is going to be to focus on long-tailed keywords. This is a little bit different from just regular keywords. So this, again, this could be, all these tips can be vid videos on their own, but just a quick rundown of what keywords are. Usually keywords, when someone says, you know, you want to rank for keywords, that's usually going to be one or two words. Like, you know, this video is about tips. It would be tips for YouTube. That's like one keyword or, or uh, growth on YouTube or YouTube growth. Those are all short and concise keywords. Long tail keywords would be something like uh, how to get your first 100 subs how to get your first 100 subs in 2023, how to get your first 100 subs on YouTube in 2023. Now, see, that's long-tailed keyword. All those keywords that are in there that make it, you know, SEO happy. So that's what you have to kind of focus on, long-tailed keywords. Because again, if you stick with just the short ones, the competition is so big that you may never get seen. But if you focus more on the long-tailed keywords, YouTube will kind of know where to put your video because you're being more specific on what your video is about than just YouTube growth 2023, YouTube growth, YouTube growth 2023. Those are all going to be so big, it's, your video might get lost. But you got to put those long tailed keywords. 
That's, that's a tip that I feel like a lot of creators don't think about. So that concludes this video and I hope that you guys got some value out of this video. If you did, I encourage you to check out some of my other videos on my channel because a lot of good stuff there as well. But until then, I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.